Did you know that you can command respect and influence others without saying a word? Imagine walking into any room and instantly commanding attention and respect, just like Tommy Shelby from Peaky Blinders. It's not just about being loud or aggressive. It's about harnessing the power of stoicism. If you want to transform how others perceive you and how you navigate the world, you need to understand and apply these powerful stoic principles. It's story time, and it's all about how quiet confidence and stoic wisdom can make you the most respected person in any room. By blending the timeless teachings of stoicism with practical techniques, you can cultivate an aura of authority and respect that will leave a lasting impression on everyone you meet. In this video, we'll explore how to use slow and relaxed movements, master eye contact, remain non-reactive under pressure, use gestures to command attention, and speak with conviction to command respect effortlessly. You're watching this video because you want to learn how to be more respected and confident. By the end, you'll have the tools and knowledge to transform your presence and influence others with quiet authority. So let's dive in and discover how you can command respect using the wisdom of Stoicism. Number 1. Harness Stoic Wisdom to Command Respect Like Tommy Shelby Did you know that you have the power to command respect in any situation, even if you're naturally quiet? Imagine walking into a room and instantly commanding attention without saying a word. This is not just a fantasy. It's a reality that you can achieve by harnessing the wisdom of Stoicism. By blending the timeless teachings of Stoic philosophy with practical techniques, you can transform how others perceive you and how you navigate the world. Today, we'll explore how you can use Stoic principles to command respect, just like Tommy Shelby from Peaky Blinders. Tommy Shelby, the quiet and introverted character from Peaky Blinders, is a master of commanding respect. While you may not want to emulate all of his traits, there are eight habits you can learn from him to instantly command more respect from those around you. This video will delve into these habits, providing practical insights and techniques you can apply to your own life. You're watching this video because you want to learn how to be more respected and confident, and by the end, you'll have the tools and knowledge to make that a reality. Number two. Embrace Calm, the stoic art of slow and relaxed movements. One of the first things you'll notice about Tommy Shelby is his slow and relaxed movements. He never seems rushed or stressed, and this calm demeanor instantly commands respect. This is a key principle in stoicism, maintaining tranquility and self-control regardless of the situation. When you move slowly and deliberately, you signal to others that you are confident and in control. Why is this important? Because most people are constantly in a rush, their movements frantic and hurried. By contrast, slow and relaxed movements suggest that you are not easily intimidated or pressured. This stoic calmness can be cultivated through mindfulness and practice. Take a deep breath, slow down your actions, and be deliberate in your movements. This will not only help you remain calm under pressure, but will also project an aura of confidence and control. Think back to moments when you felt calm and composed, perhaps during a quiet walk in the park or while enjoying a peaceful evening at home. This sense of calm is what you want to bring into your daily interactions. By embracing the stoic art of slow and relaxed movements, you can navigate stressful situations with grace and command, respect effortlessly. This is the what and how of this segment, what you are watching and how it will help you. Number three, steadfast gaze, the stoic power of unwavering eye contact. Another powerful technique for commanding respect is maintaining unwavering eye contact. Tommy Shelby excels at this, holding eye contact even during intense and confrontational moments. This is a classic stoic technique, 
using your gaze to project confidence and authority. However, it's important to know when and how to use eye contact effectively. Why is eye contact so powerful? Because it shows that you are fully present and engaged. It signals confidence and assertiveness, making others take you seriously. However, holding eye contact for too long can escalate tension, so it's crucial to find a balance. In confrontational situations, hold eye contact for a few seconds to show that you are not intimidated, then break it to the side to diffuse tension without showing weakness. Reflect on times when you felt truly seen and understood those moments when someone looked you in the eyes and made you feel important. This is the power of eye contact. By mastering this stoic technique, you can command respect and create meaningful connections with others. This segment will guide you on the why and how of using eye contact to project confidence and command respect. Number four, mastering non-reactivity, the stoic way to stay cool under pressure. One of the most impressive traits of Tommy Shelby is his ability to remain non-reactive in the face of hostility. He projects an incredible amount of confidence without even speaking, simply by staying calm and composed. This is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, maintaining equanimity and not allowing external events to disturb your inner peace. Why is non-reactivity so important? Because it shows that you are in control of your emotions and capable of handling any situation. When you react emotionally, you give away your power and reveal your vulnerabilities. By staying non-reactive, you project strength and resilience, making it hard for others not to respect you. Think about times when you lost your cool and how it affected the situation. Now, imagine staying calm and composed instead, handling the situation with grace and confidence. This is the power of stoic non-reactivity. By practicing mindfulness and emotional regulation, you can cultivate this trait and command respect effortlessly. This segment will help you understand what non-reactivity is and why it's crucial for commanding respect. Number five. Stoic presence, using gestures to command attention. Next, let's talk about using gestures to command attention. Tommy Shelby knows how to use his body language effectively, scaling up his gestures when speaking to larger groups. This is another principle rooted in Stoicism, using deliberate and purposeful actions to convey confidence and authority. Why do gestures matter? because they amplify your presence and help you communicate more effectively. When you use larger, more deliberate gestures, you capture people's attention and hold it. This is especially important when addressing groups or trying to make a strong impression. Recall times when a speaker captivated your attention with their presence. It wasn't just their words, but also their gestures and body language that drew you in. By embracing stoic presence and using gestures deliberately, you can command attention and respect in any situation. This segment will guide you on how to use gestures to enhance your presence and command respect. Number six, speak with stoic conviction, word choice and tone that demand respect. Let's explore the power of speaking with conviction Tommy Shelby's word choice and tone are always deliberate and confident. He doesn't say, I hope to, or I want to, but I will. This is a powerful stoic technique, using your words to convey certainty and authority. Why is speaking with conviction important? Because it shows that you are confident in your abilities and your decisions. People are more likely to respect and follow someone who speaks with certainty and conviction. This involves not only choosing your words carefully, but also using a firm, steady tone. Reflect on moments when someone's words inspired you or commanded your respect. It wasn't just what they said, but how they said it that made the difference. By speaking with stoic conviction, you can project confidence and authority, making others take you seriously. 
This segment will explain why speaking with conviction is crucial and how to develop this powerful skill. Number seven, the stoic pause, holding attention with deliberate speaking. Cadence, let's delve into the power of the pause, a subtle yet profoundly effective technique used by Tommy Shelby to command respect and hold attention. In Stoicism, mastering the art of deliberate speech is key to conveying authority and presence. When Tommy speaks, he uses pauses strategically, creating anticipation and making his words more impactful. Why is the pause so effective? Because silence can be more powerful than words. It gives your audience a moment to absorb what you've said and creates a sense of gravity around your words. This technique is grounded in Stoic wisdom, which teaches us to be measured and thoughtful in our speech. By pausing, you signal confidence and control, showing that you are not rushed or pressured. Think about moments when someone's pause drew you in, making you hang on to their next word. This is the impact you want to create. Practice speaking more slowly and incorporating pauses, especially when delivering important points. This will not only help you maintain your audience's attention, but also command greater respect. This segment explains why the pause is powerful and how to use it effectively. Number eight, quiet stoicism. Exercising authority without raising your voice. Moving on, let's explore the concept of quiet authority. Tommy Shelby rarely raises his voice yet his quiet words carry massive weight. This is a perfect example of stoic calmness and control, exercising authority through measured speech rather than volume. Why does quiet authority work? Because it shows that you are confident and secure in your position. Raising your voice can often be a sign of desperation or lack of control. By contrast, speaking softly yet firmly demonstrates that you do not need to dominate the conversation to be heard. This aligns with the stoic principle of inner calm and self-control. Think back to times when someone's quiet confidence impressed you. It wasn't their loudness, but their calm, measured speech that made them stand out. By practicing quiet authority, you can project confidence and command respect without ever having to raise your voice. This segment will show you how to develop and use quiet authority in your interactions. Number nine, Stoic strategy. Using carrot and stick motivation to influence others. Next, let's discuss the Stoic strategy of using carrot and stick motivation to influence others. Tommy Shelby wields tremendous power over people by understanding what they desire and fear. This stoic approach involves leveraging both positive incentives, carrots, and potential consequences, sticks, to achieve your goals. Why is this strategy effective? Because it aligns with human nature. People are motivated by both rewards and the desire to avoid negative outcomes. By understanding and using this dual motivation, you can influence others more effectively. This doesn't mean resorting to threats or manipulation, but using a balanced approach to motivate and inspire. Recall situations where both positive incentives and clear consequences influenced your decisions. This dual strategy can be incredibly powerful. To apply it in your life, identify what others want and what they wish to avoid. Use this understanding to create mutually beneficial agreements and influence outcomes. This segment explains why the carrot and stick strategy works and how to implement it in a stoic manner. Number 10, cultivating inner confidence, the stoic path to commanding respect. Let's dive deeper into cultivating inner confidence, a cornerstone of stoic philosophy. Tommy Shelby's unshakable confidence comes from within, rooted in a deep understanding of himself and his abilities. This is a key Stoic principle, developing inner strength and self-assurance that is not dependent on external validation. Why is inner confidence crucial? 
because it is the foundation of true respect. When you are genuinely confident, it radiates outward and influences how others perceive you. This confidence is not about arrogance, but a quiet, assured presence that comes from knowing your worth and capabilities. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate this inner confidence through self-reflection, mindfulness, and continuous personal growth. Reflect on times when you felt truly confident and how it affected your interactions. By focusing on building this inner confidence, you can navigate life with greater ease and command respect naturally. This segment will provide practical steps for cultivating inner confidence, explaining why it is essential and how to develop it through Stoic practices. Drop a comment, Stoicism, if you've watched this far. This shows that you're part of the elite 0.01% who actually see things through to the end. By understanding and applying these Stoic principles, you've taken a significant step toward transforming how others perceive you and how you navigate the world. From mastering the art of slow and relaxed movements to using deliberate speech and cultivating inner confidence, you now have the tools to command respect effortlessly. If you're truly committed to changing your life and unlocking your full potential, be sure to join our community by subscribing to the channel. Stay connected with us for more insights, practical tips and empowering content that will guide you on your journey to personal growth and success. Remember, the key to lifelong respect lies in embracing stoic wisdom and applying it in your daily life. Keep practicing stay consistent and watch as your reality transforms before your eyes. Drop a comment below to share your thoughts and experiences.